Do you know how to write the DC and superimposed AC voltage in SPICE? Do you know how to construct a sawtooth or pulsed or PWL source in SPICE? Do you know how to construct the well-known sine wave source in SPICE? Stay tuned till the end of the video to know all the answers. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the below points. First, we will talk about simple DC and AC sources. Sometimes we use the DC and AC sources combined together in SPICE decks. So, we will give you that details. And this is different from AC analysis or transient analysis or DC analysis. These are sources, that means power sources. Next, we will go towards the exponential and sawtooth sources. Now let us have some visualizations. This is sine wave, generally known as the alternating voltage or current. This is square wave. Sometimes it is called pulse sources. This is triangle and this is sawtooth. So these are the basic things that uh, generally we come across. We will learn how to construct this type of sources through the spice language in today's episode. Next we will cover the pulse sources. Pulse sources means this one. Next, we will cover the piecewise linear, which is different from anything that you can see here. It has a different form. So, we will go in detail later. Next, we will cover the sinusoidal source, that is this one, the sine source. And that's how we will conclude today's episode. So, this is the menu for today. Without any further delay, let's begin. Before going any further, I'd like to emphasize that in today's episode, we are going to discuss about the independent power sources. So power sources means this could be voltage sources or this could be current sources. However, these are independent sources. That means they are independent on their own and they do not depend on any other sources or any other factors. So, let's move on to the next slide. Simple DC and AC sources. Here, we will talk about the basic DC sources coupled with AC sources, those are practical to see in every electronic circuit. Here is a visual. So, you can see that in the Y axis, it will be current or voltage like this. And in the X axis, it will be time that is T. The DC source here you can see with marked with the rate called direct and that will stay horizontal with time. That means there is no change in the voltage level with respect to time. Hence, it is called the DC. Now, here you can see this is a pulsating sources this is another kind of sources. Generally, these are kind of you see where you find AC ripples like in the rectified circuits. The green one is the alternating current. Alternating means that means this is the X axis and this is plus Y axis and this is minus Y axis, right? This alternating means it is going towards the positive axis. Then at some time point, it is going towards the negative Y axis. Then again, it is changing towards the positive Y axis. That means it is alternating its polarity. And this is the variable source. That means this source do not have a pattern. And with time, it can have any shape and figure. However, in this particular slide, we will talk about the simple DC sources as well as DC sources coupled with AC source. So, let us begin. Voltage. So, this is the syntax here. V, X, X, S. This will be V1, V2. This X here, they could be alphanumeric. This is first node. This is second node. DC value, in case they have a function here, it will go here. In case it will have a AC coupled with it, so there will be AC magnitude and AC phase. Okay. So, you know about the phase and the magnitude from your textbook. So, those you can write here. So, this is the syntax. Next, the current will be like this. I then YY. So, these will be alphanumeric. I will be the first one. I will, should be there and there could be alphanumeric after I. Plus node, minus node and the DC value of the current will be here. Here could be a function and here if there is a AC coupled with the DC sources that has to be mentioned. So, here the magnitude will go. Here the phase will go. Now, let us see some examples here. The DC source, this is a voltage source V1, it is tied between 1 and 0 and here the DC value is 5 volt. So, this is a pure DC source and we do not have any AC components along with it or AC superimposed on the DC. So, it is not there. 
again it can be written as v1 then 1 0 those are nodes in between which it's connected those are nodes in between which it is connected and the simple the value the 5 volt next we have i1 this is a current which is connected in between 1 and 0 node and it has dc value of 5 milliampere let us see some ac sources here you can see v1 then 1 0 okay and it has ac that is 10 volt is the amplitude and phase is 90. And here we have another example. Here is a AC source, right? V2, which is connected between 1 and 0. The DC offset or the DC value, the basic DC value on which the AC is superimposed is 1.5 and the AC voltage is 10 volt and the phase is 90. So, this way we can define simple DC and AC sources for your spice deck where you have to power up the circuit that is under concern with any DC voltage or current. So, we have gone through the index and the example as well as we have some visuals here. We are done here. Let's move on to the next slide. Here we will talk about the exponential or sawtooth voltage. This is the sawtooth you came across in the first slide. Now, once we expand this in terms to do the mathematics, the shape is looking like this. So, here we are expanding this part or you can say this part. This is much more elaborated part. So, this will look like this. So, first this is the voltage or the current axis and this is the time axis. So, here you can see this much is TD rise. That means delay before the rise time. Now, this is T rise from here to here. This is T rise. You can see the arrow in between where this is rising, right? Sawtooth has a rising time, so we have a rising time. Here we have kept everything similar, rise, fall, but in actual case, it could be different. Just for understanding, we have kept this. Now, this point is V2. If we drop a perpendicular on the voltage axis, the maximum one and the minimum one from which starting is V1. So, here this is V1 and this is V2. This level is V2 and this level is V1. Now, this maximum point is achieved at TD fall. And from this point, we can calculate the T fall. So, this is the T fall where we calculate the fall time. This is very easy to understand. I have kept a very symmetric structure here for understanding. However, in actual practice, this could be symmetric, could not be symmetric. There should be alignment as per the need, right? So, the rise time and fall time generally. And in picture, we can see this is falling very sharp. But however, there will be some time, some fraction of time for this fall right and the rise there will be a time and this could define the exponential also and we will use here the function you will see so the voltage will be like this so v then xxx this will be alphanumeric okay node 1 node 2 in between which it is connected that is the plus node and the minus node and exp is the exponential function v1 and v2 so this is v1 v1 comes here and v2 goes here so these two levels now td rise here you can see td rise here then t rise this one t rise here right then td fall let me clean it up then td fall goes here and this t fall goes here that means once we give all the details this exponential function will construct the sawtooth wave and based on the values it can look exponential it could look sawtooth and that's how it is expected here the default values are the td rise value that means this has the default value 0 t rise that means this has the default value t step t step is the time step of the simulation the transient simulation because in this axis we have time and this axis we have voltage or current that will be t step and td fall so this one td fall will be td rise plus t step and t fall that is this one will have the default value t step so in case you are not specifying you are giving just v1 and v2 right to this function rest of the things will take the default values like this let us see an example here you can see v i n it is connected between node 1 and node 0 and exponential 4 is this voltage v1 1 is this right this one now td rise here is 2 nanosecond t rise is 30 nanosecond td fall is 60 nanosecond and t fall is 40 nanosecond so here you can see all these things here in this particular figure and that is how you can construct a particular exponential sawtooth wave here through this syntax we are done here let's move on to the next slide here in this slide we will talk about the pulse source generally 
this is viewed as maybe a square wave or a rectangular wave but this is generally a pulse source once pulse is coming from a source so here we have kept the square right and to understand it better we have zoomed like the previous one and we have multiple factors here defined in this particular figure so let us see the equation here here is the syntax right so v then this could be alphanumeric and this is node 1 node 2 and once we zoom right so this factor from if it is starting like this right at this point so this will be this and this rise time will be this then the stable period is this then fall time is this and this goes on so this is a pulse source so pulse we are calculating right so plus one minus plus n minus n are the two nodes in between the voltage which it is connected so pulse is here and v1 is here you can see the this level that is voltage so here you can see this one from the base this voltage is v1 and v2 is the maximum that means this one is the v2 this maximum one so here you can see this is v2 so we get v1 from the picture it is v1 and this is v2 and then we have td td is here you can see td is here then t rise t rise is here you can see the rise time this is the time for the wave to get rise then t fall is here t fall is this fall right so this time is much this much time is needed for the fall so this is t fall and then the pulse width so width is here you can see in between these dotted lines this is the pulse width so that is what we have already drawn here and then we give the period so you can easily visualize these things you can see here we have period and this goes here so period is from here to here okay? this is the period now let us see an example before that we can see the default values so if nothing is specified t rise will be t step again i am saying this is a transient simulation so there will be a simulation step if not specified this t rise t fall etc etc t rise will be t step t fall will be t step t width this width will be t stop right and period will be again t stop so you have to specify now let us see an example here is the example you can see this is v in which is connected between 3 and 0 it is a pulse source and minus 1 is this one is minus 1 volt and this one goes to this v2 and then we have td as 2 nanosecond t rise as 2 nanosecond t fall as 2 nanosecond width as 60 nanosecond and period as 90 nanosecond and from this particular figure you can see which one is what so this way we can construct a pulse source and we also shown the default value so you are done here let's move on to the next slide here we will talk about the piecewise linear and this do not have a pattern however this can have a repetitive pattern that means the pattern that is not fixed like any other waveforms you have seen so let us see how the PWL looks so it will look like this in y axis there will be current or voltage then here time 1 voltage 1 this axis is time so the first one coordinate is t1 v1 second coordinate of the voltage after some time is t2 v2 then t3 v3 so here you can see t2 t3 are same right then again t4 v4 okay e5 v5 e6 v6 so at every coordinate the values are changing and it some may change some may not change so here here something did not change here something did not change right that is the voltage level now how to describe such wave and let me say after this point this particular pattern will keep on repeating so here it will repeat itself this particular pattern it don't have a regular pattern like already we have seen but it has a pattern and that kind of pattern will repeat after some time so the wave form will go on repeating itself how to write that so here is a voltage example or voltage syntax so here it will be alphanumeric this is a plus node minus node and then we write pwl then we give t1 v1 then t2 v2 then t3 v3 and then we go again up to tn vn and r is equal to repeat that means after some time we need repeat we have to mention r td is the t delay here it starts with a delay right so that td will go here simple now let us see an example here you can see v in 
is connected between the node V gate and ground that is 0. Here PW is then it is 0 at time 0. It is 0 volt, 5 nanosecond. This is 0 volt, 10 nanosecond. This is 5 volt. So this way we are defining the coordinates through which the wave is getting created. And this way we reach up to 30 nanosecond where the voltage again goes 0. After that we mention repeat that is R. That means after this particular point, this particular kind of pattern we keep on repeating and here T delay that means this one from where it is starting T delay will be 60 nanosecond. So this way we can define the piecewise linear source. Again with this one you can create different kind of waveforms as you need in the spice deck. It could be voltage, it could be current. We have shown voltage here. However, the current will be similar instead of B, this will be I. That's all. We are done here. Let's move on to the next slide. Sinusoidal source. So by the name we know already from our textbook that is it is a fine wave and how we draw in on axis here like this i have kept this free so that you can understand now let's see the syntax here for voltage we are defining the syntax right here this will be v followed by a alphanumeric thing then plus node and minus node then we have sine function here then v offset offset means this is the offset voltage this is from the zero we have offset that means it is shifted it is not on the zero so offset and amplitude amplitude means what do you understand by this so this is the amplitude right in graph so this is the amplitude the amplitude then we have frequency td then damping then phase delay so let us see the example so here v in is connected between three and zero sine then v offset is zero and v a is one frequency is 100 megahertz and uh, 100 megahertz and td that is t delay so if it is starting after some delay point right small delay so td will be this and damping is this and we don't have mentioned the phase delay here here the phase delay defaulted to zero or zero degrees so that's why it is not there so this way we can write a sine wave whether it is a current or voltage it will follow this syntax for current instead of v it will be i that's all we are done here for the sinusoidal sources now let's move on to the next slide Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes. Put that as in words in the comment section down below. And bye for today.